What's going on guys? Welcome to Bryos DIY. I have this upcoming project to design and install an irrigation system on our garden. And I'm going to show you how to design and install an underground sprinkler system. Welcome to the video. So previously I've been using a hand hose to water the garden. And that meant a lot of time and effort in ensuring that the right water volume and distribution is attained in the garden. So I'm therefore switching up gears a little bit to installing a sprinkler system that will that I believe will make my work easier and efficient. So this is going to be a two-part video where we'll first take a few measurements and design the system. Then on the second video we are going to install the system and give the test. So stay tuned and thank you for watching. And uh, please like and subscribe to the channel if you love this video. Sprinkler system irrigation simulates rainfall through an overhead water application and the benefits of having a sprinkler system installed in your yard or garden is that it saves time and money, especially when the system is automated using an irrigation timer. So with this you get to spend time somewhere else doing other things as your yard or garden is, is being watered. We also have the issue of water conservation and uh, with this you may have to justify this by measuring the amount of water that you currently use when applying water using a hose and you can compare that to the amount of water that you'll be using from the total number of sprinklers that you will install and get to see that if you are really conserving water or not. We also have the issue of potential boost of the result value of your property and uh, with these, there are a few blocks that have been written here that will tell you more about this. So if your goal is boosting the potential result value of your property, just do your research on this and before you continue that. To design your system, you have to have the right measurements. That is from the water lines and uh, the field units that you are going to, to use. The water measurements that you have to get are the main line flow rate so at this point you have the main line coming into your house and you can branch it to go into the sprinkler system. So at this point you have to get the main line flow rate and the pressure. These two will affect the spray distance of your sprinklers and the number of zones and number of sprinklers per zone that you can get. For my case, I had a unit of 10 gallons per minute as you can see right here. So to get this value, just get a container with a known volume and measure the amount of time it takes for that container to be filled. Then divide the value that you get with the amount of time that it takes to fill that container and you'll get yourself the flow rate of that line. So the moment you get your flow rate, compare it to one sprinkler head. Now this right here is a sprinkler it's a sprinkler head with a flow rate rating of 3.75 gallons per minute. So if I were to use this on my line with a flow rate of 10 gallons per minute, that means I will have three of these sprinkler heads per zone. And this is how you determine the number of heads that you can have per zone. Just divide the main line flow rate to the sprinkler head flow rate. And for my case, I had three heads per valve. This right here is the pressure gauge that you use to measure the pressure on your line. And the pressure, then the value that you get right here will determine the spray distance of your sprinklers, depending on the number of them that you have right there. So you have to remember that this pressure that you have will be distributed among those uh, pressure heads. So the more the number of sprinkler heads you have, the less that pressure is going to be. Right. Uh, the next thing that you have to collect are the field units and it begins with the length and the width of the field. This one right here is my representation of my field. You have the shape, you have the topography and you have the soil type. These factors also will affect the sprinkler selection in terms of spray distance and the pattern that, the, that you get from the sprinkler you also have, they also contribute to establishing the number of zones and number of sprinklers per zone. 
the moment you are done with the measurements the next thing is now to begin the design of the system and this will help you to determine the positioning of the sprinklers and this can be done manually by hand that is using a pen a paper and a pair of compass dividers and a ruler or you can do this by software I'm going to show you both sides of uh, the game then you will make your decision depending on the factors that are at hand on your case so first let's take a look at the design by hand. So in case you are looking for more information for your hand design of the irrigation system, there are several guides out there that you can use or that can help you to gain more information on how to design your system. So one is by Obit, it's a company dealing with irrigation systems. They have given us this is a step by step underground sprinkler system layout, layout guide. And this will really help you gain more information than what I've covered. As you can see right here, they have given us a representation of what your system will look like. Or how their system looked like when they were designing this. So you have the main water line and your local supply coming into your sprinkler system. And uh, you have the antecedent device right there. You have the sprinkler manifold. And they have three zones for their case. So this is one way to get more information. We have another, another guide right here by Rainbird. And this has done more than even what the, the other one has done. They began from understanding basic hydraulics all the way to designing your system and installation. So get yourself these guides, it will do you a lot in case you are going in for the hand design or even if you are just looking for knowledge.
If you have come this far, thank you for watching this video. So you have seen for yourself the two sides of designing an irrigation system. I know most of you guys will prefer the software since it's way quick and efficient. But for my case, I'm going to go with the hand-drawn design since with that I'll get to choose the type of sprinkler systems that I want to use. So stay tuned for the next video where we'll be installing and testing the systems for results. Alright, thank you.